Hey there, welcome back guys. In this video, we're gonna show you how to do a pause print so that you can stop the print as it's happening and maybe you wanna put something in there like a little ball or maybe you wanna pause the print so that you can change the filament color. So without any further ado, come let's get started because in this video, we're gonna pause the print and put this inside of the object of desire and hopefully it'll work. So without any further ado, come, let's get started. Let's figure out how to do that pause print so that you can stop your video and do what you wanna do and um, put whatever it is you wanna put into your print. All right, so we have everything here. Here's our print. It's a really simple process. The only complicated part is figuring out where to do your pause. So let's say, um, I think the ball would fit it in. It says 55 on the S TL page download. There's a link to it down below, but it's not going to be with my with my printer. So I'm going to gauge right about, and you can go, uh, you can figure out like here. Look, I have 91 layers, right? So half of 91 is 40 something, right? Alexa, what's half of 91? Oh, right about there. Alexa, what's half of 91? Half of 91 is 45.5. So 45. 46, hmm, I'm gonna, oh yeah, I love 45. So 45 would be half, and then we drop the ball in. So well, well, look, there's no, um, there's no f feature that'll let me do it. I'm gonna say probably, well, we're gonna say 45, sorry, not 45, 46. 46 should be ideal for me. All right, so knowing that and moving forward, so now what you can do is you can slice the bill plate. And then after you slice it, I have my supports there. These are the supports for me, they work well. And now I'm gonna scroll down to where I was. Um, choose, oh yeah, that looks about good, 45, see? I'm gonna do 46 though, 46. After it's sliced, because that's the only way you're gonna see that little plus thing. And it moved a little bit, so 46, see? Then I'm gonna press Control and click, see? Now after Control and click, I can add the pause print and see, and there it is. Now, if I wanna remove it, I have to bring the little, um, little this thing right here, and then to where it, the pause print is, and if I press Control, click, I have the delete option, okay? So again, uh, you can add many different pauses. It's like I wanna pause here, right? Control, click, and then add pause print. And I don't need to, that's if you wanna do multicolor, if you don't have a multicolor printer, and if I right click, right, this place, in this case, you just right click and you can delete the pause print. In this case, we're only going to do one and then you can just play it to resume and hopefully it works. So now we're going to slice it, okay? And after it's sliced, I don't worry about that. This is just a preview. I can send it to the printer and see we got one pause print. Remember to delete it and to add it and do what you need to do. Um, in this case, we're gonna pause it so that we can put an object of desire inside. Knowing that, moving forward, I'm gonna send it to the printer, make sure it's the color you want, and I'll press start print and click okay. And this, remember this particular print will need supports. Um, and then we will see what happens on the flip side. So there it is right here. So in the next part, let's see if it actually pauses. And one thing I wanted to point out is that Sometimes the pause print may not be ideal. As you can see here, we burnt it over here. I sanded it down. It has to be a little bit higher because as you can see, the um, this is flush with the nozzle. And if we put the ball in, now it's higher. So it's gonna be knocked off. So ideally, you wanna set your pause print to the ideal height. But you know, if you're not sure what the ideal height is, you can scale it down and we know that will definitely fit in there on the pause print if you scale down the ball. Scale down just means you make it smaller. Uh, so knowing that and moving forward, if we go here, right? You see, here we have our bill plate um, and we have it set to 54 on the pause, okay? Whoops, shift and slide does that. So if you have it set to 54 right here, but if you're not happy with where the pause print is, just tap on it. See, we tapped on it. Make sure you're in preview. Make sure the build uh, plate is sliced. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to add 
or removed your pause print. So in this case, we put the pause print at 54. 55 could be okay. Look, 55 is even a little bit too high. So do 54 and then click or um, control click or whichever, you know, button will allow your mouse to have this appear. And for me, it would be control click or click and then add pause. See, and now the pause is there. And again, scaling it down only means making it smaller. So if we click here, right? And then we go there, go back to prepare, um, and then click on the object of desire. And then you go here, that's scale. Let's see, I scaled it down to 70. So if we could do command all, select all, make sure you have uniform scaling selected. So then if I select 100, voila, it's at 100%. Remember to use at all, all points, all three points. Command all again. And I'm going to do 70. And now 70 would be ideal. So we'll try both and see how both actually work. And uh, one is not going to custom mustard, or maybe they both will be ideal at that pause print size. And then we can put both in there. But for now, we're just going to um, hope and pray that that's the ideal pause for at least one of them. All right, there's a pause print. See, it's really level, so the nozzle won't get in the way of the ball. But I believe the ball is a little bit too big. So what I'm going to do is lift the ball out with the orange plastic tool that we normally use, uh, and then lift it up from the bottom, pull it out. This is at 100% for the ball. And I have a ball that's about 70%. 70 is OK. 80 would probably be ideal for this particular print. As you can see, the bigger size difference. Um, we cleaned it up a bit so it just looks better. And just drop it in. Voila. And then once you drop it in, what you're going to do is go back to the printer menu, tap the screen to wake it up. Once you wake it up, you will just hit the um, object of desire and then press the play button. Once you press the hit resume, and voila, the printer will pick up where it left off and continue on with the print and people will wonder hey how did that get in there kind of neat huh so it's finished let's have a look and see how it looks i'm just going to look from over here on the uh from the computer it looks like it's already there i'm just gonna grab it so it looks good from here kind of neat huh oh pretty good if you ask me look at that could have been the ball could have been scaled a little bit uh smaller but it leaves room for play right to finagle it and wonder like hey how did that get in there um now we're getting the supports off will be a little bit tricky but it is a bit fragile so, oh wow check it out see now let's take the supports off and then just have a look and see how it should come off easily um, see, you just pull that and you can, you know, you can take the, oh, wow, it's a keychain ver version. Look, it has a little hole. So that means it's pretty strong. See, I kind of like the ball better, um, scaled down because you get like a little, I mean, again, it could have been bigger, but then would it just been jammed in there? You know, might print another one, uh, you know, throw that ball in there and, um, let's see what we have here. See? You know, like we had, and will it come out? Can it come out? No, it won't come out. It's not going to budge, see? So it's just the right length, uh, oh, I mean, width and length. Um, since we did a, um, you know, uniform scaling. Well, this is pretty cool. This is really, I wonder if it stands up. Probably could stand if it didn't have that part there. You know, take off the, see, look at that. Hard to see from here, but it does stand. Here, I'll do it from here. And there we go. We'll do it from there. So if it's level enough, voila. Whoops, uh, sort of. It will stand there. You just have to take the supports off the bottom. Kind of neat, huh? How did that get in there? Gotta love it. Anyway, I hope this video helped you with the pause print experience. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below or ideas for other videos. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time.